I recently saw this design for a 3D printed shovel on the internet, and I just had to print one out to test for myself. The designer had recommended printing it out of polycarbonate blend filament or polycarbonate blend filament with carbon fiber in it, but I didn't have either of those available on hand to use. I decided to use polyethylene terephthalate glycol, also known as PETG, instead. PET is a really common material used to make plastic water bottles, and glycol is an additive used to make this material easier to 3D print. I was very happy with how the final shovel turned out. Folding and unfolding the shovel is very easy to do. All you have to do is unscrew the threaded portion of the handle and everything folds right up. To find out how good this shovel really was, I decided to test it against a metal shovel manufactured with a similar design. I found a metal shovel that had almost the exact same dimensions as the 3D printed shovel in both the folded and unfolded configurations. The 3D printed shovel weighed around one pound. The metal shovel weighed around two and a half pounds. To test the shovel's digging ability, I started out by shoveling some grass and dirt. The metal shovel had no problem whatsoever breaking through the grass to get to the dirt. And now for the moment of truth. The 3D printed shovel had a lot of difficulty getting to the grass. It really was not much better than using like a, a stick or a rock or something. I'll speed this up to five times speed so you don't have to sit through the full length of it. I thought that I may have broken the shovel here, but the handle had just come unscrewed. Ultimately, the effort it took to dig these two similar sized holes was not at all comparable. The metal shovel cut through the grass with ease, and the plastic shovel had extreme difficulty. As you can see here, the PETG is just too flexible for this geometry. It bends before it can really dig into the soil much at all. Here's another side-by-side -side digging test, this time in some softer soil. The plastic shovel has a much easier time digging through without the layer of grass. I also tested how well the shovels would perform using a tilling motion, and the plastic shovel performed perfectly fine here. Unsurprisingly, the metal shovel worked well in this soil too. This time it was just a little bit better than the plastic shovel instead of infinitely better like the last example. The metal shovel is actually a little bit clunkier than the plastic shovel when it comes to changing the orientation of the shovel head, so I think that the plastic shovel wins out there. Here's a close-up view of the results. For a final test, I decided to just see what would happen when I stepped on the handles. The metal shovel was unfazed, and the plastic shovel bent a little bit, but didn't break. Here's a little side-by-side -side comparison between the PETG filament that I used, the two filament types that the designer had recommended, as well as just a generic structural steel. You can see that the PC blend filaments are a little bit stronger and also a little bit stiffer than the PETG filament that I used. Based on a comparison of the tensile modulus, also known as Young's modulus, which helps quantify the flexibility of materials, I think that if you printed the shovel head out of the PC blend instead of the PETG, you may have slightly better results. However, I think it may be more beneficial to go about redesigning the geometry of the shovel head to add in some more stiffening features, which would improve the usability of the shovel regardless of what type of plastic you printed it out of. I may give that a try so that this could be printed entirely out of PETG. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.